good evening friends. I'm Elsa Jane. I'm a director of Patriot for Minorities and I forget every time to say please press that thumb, subscribe to this channel. Then you get all the future uh, videos as well and I, I say it in the beginning because I forget to say it at the end. So please subscribe to our channel. Next to me is Flippy van Dijk. The famous Flippy van Dijk. Um, there were several videos about Flippy and I'm presently on Flip, Flippy's farm and, and before the sunset, if you look at the background, you will see the beautiful, beautiful area where um, his farm is situated. Mm -hmm. um, the river you see in the background is the Unkumas River. Yeah, Flippy, uh, when did you move here? I bought this farm in 2013, in October, um, and we moved in immediately and so so we are, I'm here since October 2013. It felt like, it feels like ages ago that it happened. I mean, so much happened, but uh, it, it feels like a lifetime ago. It looks like paradise, but you suddenly, when you moved in, realized it's not exactly paradise here. Well, the nature is paradise. It is, a, it is truly a beautiful place. It is a, it's serene. But the local politics is making it a bit of hell. So, what, what can you say? Um, it's a hell in paradise, or paradise in hell, I don't know. Something like okay, that. Okay, we, we can talk about several charges you lay with the police that was not investigated. There was even a, a charge against you where they prosecuted you. And you were found guilty, you appealed, and on appeal you were found not guilty. Yes. Um, it was a terrible life, time in your life. Uh, you lost around about 300,000 in legal costs, and um, it, it left a mark on your life. Um, they still have your firearm after that court case, that's another story. But I don't want to get in all the, into all the details, uh, because we can keep the people busy for two days. But the bottom line of all this is, what, what do the people want? They want me off the land. And they want me off the land because I am a white person. And by that, I'm Afrikaans. I'm actually not completely Afrikaans, but yes, I'm Afrikaans. And they loathe us here. I don't know why. Uh, I had several incidents where um, it was told in my face it's because of my of where I, of, of what I am that I'm a white man and and, and it's not that you are distancing yourself from them you speak the Zulu language you you um, communicate with them on their level yeah I won't give me out as a Zulu linguist. Um, uh, maybe when I was 12 years old, I, I, I could speak Zulu really fluently, but I had quite a long break away from, from the people of Zululand, so um, I can talk the language and uh, uh, I can communicate with him uh, on, on quite a level. Uh, I grew up with him. My father was a missionary. Um, I, know th I know them. I, uh, I actually uh, lo love the Zulu people. Um, for what they are um, and the They're history. They're a proud nation. Yeah, and the history that we had together. It was, it's a difficult history, but yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so you never go to their place and, and look for trouble there. It always happens on your land. Well, as soon as I bought the place from, in terms of you say, from day one, yeah. I had a, a, a adverse reaction from from the community, quite hostile, um, and um, I don't know how to put it, if they, they, they kept on pressing the envelope uh, to, 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 um, to irritate you. To, 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 to such an extent that they, you they pack they, your bags and leave. Well, yeah, I, I, I think they, they had to, but <laughs> I've grown up with them, so I know but they, I can, I sort of, I, I'm, it will be hard to get me there. Yeah. And 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 they are getting more desperate now. Um, 
to get me off the land and doing all sorts of things. I mean, <laughs> they're the most ridiculous things yeah. uh, happened with us. I mean, um, they, if you talk about the cattle attack, uh, things like that happen. Um, they send in, uh, I, I bought this place to farm with um, essential, essential oils. oils. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and rose geranium, which is a very, very difficult crop to grow. And I managed it, and my beautiful laid lands that me and my sons have laid out here on the top is something to see. Yeah. It was beautiful. And they sent their cattle 30, 40 a time with bulls in and instigating their dogs to... Uh, to, to to like go the into the cattle and so that the cattle maul around and now you know there's um, nothing left of your yeah, the land. rose geranium lands have got wheat cover on it has got drip irrigation and now you've got bulls mauling in that land it 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 actually looked the first time i got there it looked like a black bowl of spaghetti yeah with the with the with the pups that were mauled up and some of the the tubes they about one centimeter thick were stretched to about less than a millimeter. Yeah. Uh, damaged, uh, totally damaged. Totally damaged. It was. Yeah. It it it, it was it was a it was devastating. Um, As I said, we, we can keep the people two mm. days busy with all the incidents. Yeah. It's 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 you can't believe that so much trouble hit one guy on a farm like this. But I, I wanted. To, to jump a few incidents and I, I want to take you to June this year which was actually in the lockdown period of the COVID-19 you got this very nice visit <laughs> on that June morning um, you posted on Facebook that 20 policemen came to attack you yeah it was uh, it, it, it was seriously uh, unfortunate incident um, the police um, uh, I didn't have anything to do with the police for a long time uh, it was sort of peaceful here and I'm, I'm sort of getting all the pieces together to start a new venture here that, 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 that I'm busy with and um, one good day it's the second of June, I think. It's the second of the third. I'm not sure. In any case, I was I was I was very peaceful around here. I was busy pumping uh, my house water, uh, which I which I um, treat here on on on, 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 on the yard. I was busy filling the tank, and I have to watch that because it's quite a large pump. So I quickly got to go run down if the pump fills in. Uh, I have locked all my. All my gates for the night. My wife doesn't work here in the week. Uh, uh, so she, you're she, alone. She, yeah, she 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 works elsewhere and she comes weekends. Okay, uh, I just want to explain. There's a gate. I don't think you can see it anymore. It's getting dark, but there's a gate down there, yeah. which is the entrance to your farm. Yes. I've and then if you proceed about 500 meter, yeah. you get another gate, which is the fence around your around the yard. Around the yard, oh, so it's yeah. two two gates that was yeah. locked. Yeah, so. Uh, I, and if I, you can, if you yeah. can look yeah. behind, yeah. Flippy, you will see the trailer door, which is the lock to your front door. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. So, well, I had I had the uh, um, I had the gates locked, and uh, I was sitting quite peaceful. It was actually a very nice afternoon, and um, I was just sitting inside that. They, I was sitting inside there and I was watching the water through the window. Yeah. And, and then uh, you heard a car. You thought it was maybe on a limb coming back. Yes. And I heard a vehicle coming up. Now it's quite a steep little incline to my house. And I heard a vehicle coming up and I thought, oh, that's nice. My wife is coming to visit. <laughs> my wife is coming to visit me during the week. Uh, so I got up and uh, had a peep through the uh, kitchen window. <coughs> and I saw, oh, it's not my wife, it's a white uh, light delivery vehicle coming up and there were 
<coughs> four or five people standing upright at the back. But they they were dressed in blue uh, sort of clothes and they had balaclavas on and they had their face masks. Everybody wears a face mask with a, with a lockdown at that stage. They had the face mask and the, uh, and the Automatic. machine guns and uh, so, uh, and uh, and things like that. And they came up with quite a speed here. And um, I ran out onto the um, balcony or the stoop, whatever you want to call it, veranda, out to see what the matter was. Uh, I immediately saw that they were police. And I thought... They are after somebody else that maybe crossed your farm. Crossed my farm, and they want access to the farm next door. And as I got came out onto the veranda, the policeman told me I have to get my dogs in control because my dogs were trying to Berserk. to 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 to, to, to get them off the the truck. Um, uh, they saw that these people uh, were not uh, up to any good. Um, and I told him, okay, give me a, give me a minute. I'll, I'll, I'll get the dogs inside so that you can talk to me. And I, I went to the garage, and the garage is, is, is part of the house. I went back into the house, and I lifted the garage door to call the dogs in. And then some, suddenly uh, another guy with a shotgun approached um, from the side, in, and he said in, 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 in Zulu, he told them um, they have to, uh, to stop it because the dogs are getting into the house. I couldn't understand it. <laughs> that is what they want, that they asked me to do. I mean, I, yeah. uh, it, and then um, he kicked, uh, I've got a little fox there, he kicked that dog. I think that dog must have flown for about eight or whatever meters. And she was, I thought, I think she was out completely with that kick. Uh, and then immediately after that, um, a thunder flash, well, the thunder flash got two, two it shoots twice. Um, a thunder flash, and then I heard uh, the rifles going. And it started uh, shooting. Yeah, but I, 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 when when he kicked the dog, I, 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 I let go of the of the garage door so that it closed it by itself, and I raced to the front door. Uh, and I had the sense to pick up the phone, and my wife's phone number is the first number. On your phone. On my phone, and I told and I, I talked. I told her, "Listen, there's police here. It seems to me there's big trouble." Uh, and she kept. She was. She kept onto the, the line. The line yeah. open. And when I came out, there was a policeman standing on on the door. But I just heard <laughs> everything crashes here. The the, the uh, there's a gate that comes when you come onto this veranda. Uh, that gate I had them crashing that gate open, and the trolley door and the sliding doors. And when I got there, there was a guy with an R5 waiting for me, and I told him, listen, whoa, whoa. I said, there must be some big mistake. <laughs> this yeah. can't happen. And um, I was still talking to this. Uh, three other guys came in, and two guys uh, had my arms, put my arms behind my back, and then the third guy just started getting into with the fist, and they knocked the whole thing. <laughs> Holy I saw, I, hell out of me. I saw your your body had blue marks all over. Yeah, I don't you I don't I don't I don't turn blue very easy. I mean if I get a a bump, a, a bump or so it doesn't turn blue. Uh, so well, for you to be blue it was quite Yeah. So but I mean this guy he, he just pummed me and eventually another guy came and you know these ostrich kickers kicks. Yeah. Uh, he, he tried that on me and he, he kicked me and, and it, my TV fell over and my the bench where I sat on fell over. All sort of mayhem, but these police just went on. And they and I was I, I really thought that they were going to kill me. And eventually they had me on the floor uh, and uh, the phone was still on. And my poor wife was on the other side. Okay, until they crushed the phone. They, they kicked the phone to pieces. Yeah. Um, and um, She actually called for assistance after, yeah, she afterwards. Said, uh, she, that, that is what she, she has done. I, 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 I understand they ripped your house apart. They yeah, threw well, out each and every cupboard. Yeah. Then, then they had me on the floor and they 
I had my arms behind my back and they bangled me. I think it's bangled. Me with three sets of, uh, of um, handcuffs. Three at the back. Uh, it was extremely painful uh, um, to get your hands so close behind your back because the third cuff sat here. With one, two, three cuffs sitting like this in the back. So I was there. I couldn't get up. I had to crawl. Well, move myself to a corner and get up to the corner. There I stood up and they started mar marching me through the house. They were you're not a young man anymore. No, but I still, I don't know what, what they were doing here. I, I, I wasn't told a word what they were doing. Okay, I understand and I don't want the video, sorry, I, I, oh. I know a lot of things happen, but I don't want the video to become too long. Okay. But um, you also sustained head injuries, and th that was the reason why you ended up in hospital. I, he, most of 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 the blows of the blows I took to the head. Yeah. And while I was while they marched me through the house, they uh, uh, knocked me from the back uh, here at, at, in the back of my neck. Um, that was that was that was. It's taken the longest to, 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 to heal. And you also had an operation in your brain? Yes, I, when, um, I was taken to the police station and I was also assaulted in the police station. But I just want to say, my, f my wife phoned one of my friends and they came to, out to the farm. And the moment they came here, that moment they stopped hitting me. So there's no evidence? If they killed you that day, Flippy, if that my friends didn't come, they would have. They I'm would sure have. of it. Yeah. But I'm the other thing is, the intent was there. It wasn't there. There I are so many four murders in South Africa, and m many of them. I won't say all of them, but many of them. You don't know who the attacker is. No, you don't. And if you died that day, nobody would have known that you were attacked by the police. It's only because you survived the attack. Yeah. That you can testify and say the people that attacked me was police and they were here to kill you. Yes, uh, I the the, the 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 police that were here had the intent. It was in their eyes. I you just sort of feel it. Yeah. Um and then my friend came and the moment my friend they said Umlungu Fiyile, a white man has arrived. And that moment, the colonel that was here Second. gave an order. I don't know, I didn't hear the order, but it stopped immediately. And uh, after that, they ransacked, oh, they, 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 they still ransacked the house when, when, when my friends were here, but then the beating the, the, stopped. The, the, so. yeah, and right in the end, they gave me a paper that was signed by the chief magistrate of, um, of Scottborough. Yeah, um, magistrate Sealy. Uh, giving them permission to enter my premises looking for guns and stuff which they didn't find. No, your gun is, as we said in the beginning, your gun, gun was... Yeah, it was seized a long time ago. That's a story on its own. It will just Five take up ago. time. But yeah. you don't even have a gun in here anymore. No, I do not I do not own a, 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 any firearm. I... Uh, uh, I, told, I, I, I tried to stay there with trouble by speed. <laughs> okay, but we're glad you survived the attack. Yeah. Um. And yeah. It was a severe attack. But you talked. About, you talked about my injuries and about the operations. And I just want to to, to to put it straight: is that um, they while I, I I the next day I still went to court because they ordered me to court. But you can't remember anything. No, I'll tell you, I went to court and they um, I gave a new court date, uh, which I <laughs> registered on a piece of paper. Uh, I came back and the next day I went to the police station because I was really feeling bad and I was trying to get a J88. The J88 is a, is, a, is a thing that they use in it's the hospital. It's, it's it's I, really, I think I was really feeling bad, but I must say I think because I don't know anymore. And I got... I got uh, seizures at the police station and the seizures went on for hours. I was for hours without oxygen and stuff like that. And 
when they took me into the hospital, it's the second time I went to hospital, they had me scanned from the beginning and they found a, a benign uh, a tumor in, yeah, and they thought, seeing that I'm in ICU and it was COVID and all, you know, all that nonsense, is that they're going to take out this tumor in any case, uh, because I would have stayed in any case that long in hospital to uh, recover. to recover from the trauma that uh, uh, of the head injuries uh, um, because I I had these funny lapses but I still um, can't remember three days about three days I can't, I I remember when they put me in the van. Yeah, and, they, and the next I remember is when the, when I was in hospital, so in the COVID ward. It was it was a frightening experience. Waking up in a COVID ward, there wasn't. I didn't know where I was. I was it was like a sci a sci-fi movie. We were in these glass cubicles, uh, and there was no markings where you were. I, I didn't know, I didn't believe in that I was in a hospital, I thought I was in some sort of state institution until I was free of COVID after two days or three days and I was sent to the normal ward and then I said, okay, now I'm in St. Augustine's, I'm in a real hospital. Yeah. But before that, uh, it, 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 it was, uh, and then I wanted to get out earlier because my wife, my wife was alone and the police were seriously looking for my wife um, but the doctor wouldn't allow me not because of the uh, benign tumor that they took out but because, but because of, the, of, of the trauma that I had, had um, in your head yeah but so uh, I just want to clear that uh, I mean uh, uh, the brain operation was just a, a convenient um, uh, uh, exercise okay there's, there's presently a court case pending that's why I'm here yeah. But you said you pre prefer not to talk about it, so I'll make yeah. a separate video where I explain the court case that, that followed. But I wanted you to tell the, the, the people and a lot of foreigners as well, people in other countries, what is going on here on this farms and who is the attackers to, in, in many cases to these farmers? They, um, somebody told me that about 33% of the South African police force supports EFF. the EFF. Yeah. Now whether it's true I don't know. But in our case, in our police station, there are definitely people, support. police people, that support the community in driving us off the farm. Now next, to, to my west, there are two farms um, that lies abandoned. Because the and they mostly it. they mostly lie abandoned because farming is actually impossible. I'm trying I'm, I'm trying again, so how can you get me away that easier? But what the problem that comes is you don't know where it's not. They, they they might just get uh, a good hit on me or whatever. Uh, then try to drive me uh, off the farm with nonsense. It, it, it is those things. It's one of those. The risks, that, the risks that you have to anticipate do I fight or do I flee and I sit between the two um, if, I f if I flee you lose everything I lose my whole pension and, and plus much more and if you fight you might lose your life if I fight yeah but yeah, there's also dignity and all things like that that come to fights and stuff like that you uh, uh, I don't want to fight the people. I mean, I work for them all my life. I, I, except for the time that I was in the fertilizer business, I was either a teacher teaching black kids uh, science or agricultural science or working uh, for them at a development corporation um, or in some courts, some doing office trying to be of some assistance towards uh, the development of black people in, in some way or the other. I don't, I don't say I'm a saint or anything, please. Uh, but uh, there is no hate for me, for the black, for, 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 for black, especially for the Zulu people. I lived for a long time in the Cape, and I came back 
to KZN. Because it's your place. It's my place. And uh, um, we've got a lot of things, it seems to me a lot of things have changed the sort of relationship, the old relationship, the courtesy that the people had for one another or that I experienced when I was young. I just don't find that anymore. No, I'm actually lying. You do find it. Here and there, you do find it. I've got a black neighbor here. It's a very nice guy. We get along quite well. There's a, uh, another guy that uh, he's a, uh, a guard, a security guard. Um, a wonderful gentleman. We talk a lot with the parties here. Um, so, no, there's no hate. And I, 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 I think the hate comes with pop, popular politics or something like that. I'm not you think that the hate is instigated by politicians? Yeah, um, I think all over the world, basically. But yeah, here as well. And there, okay. are, there are people that, that, that like it. I don't know, I can't understand what benefit you can get out of hate. That, that, that is, that is uh, one thing, but it seems to me they get financed to, to, hate. to create hate. Okay, I know it was a painful experience. It's still recent and painful to talk about it, so I really appreciate your effort to come and talk about it. Tell the world about it, and um, yeah, we will talk again. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Yeah, I just and I thanks I for your hospitality. Yeah. yeah, but I just want to say, this is the second time. The first time is actually the worst. The 2014 incident. But yes, we yes, can I talk know. another time about that. Uh, yes, I know. Because that was that was very mistake. We, we can talk about that, and that c case is finalized, so it's not so pure, okay? Yeah. But I don't want to drag you through it because I know it's it was terrible. No, it was it was a, it was a seriously. Uh, yeah. Okay, but good night. Thank you very much.